This is truly shocking, Pops. A customer bought a $150,000 Cadillac Escalade, and that's not the shocking part. The shocking part is they refinanced their loan, and when they did that, they voided their warranty. What the heck happened here, Dad? And is Cadillac GM, are they coming to the rescue here to, to, to save uh, this customer? Uh, so far, they're not. <laughs> they, they probably will after any number of videos go viral um, uh, complaining about GM and Cadillac. Um, what happened here is, is the Cadillac Escalade V is one of those specialized vehicles that um, uh, vehicle flippers like to get their hands on so that they can sell it and, and resell it and make a huge profit. And when the customer bought this car originally, they signed a form stipulating that they had to keep the vehicle for at least one year before they could sell it. And yep. if they if they didn't, it would void their warranty. So he financed, I'm assuming, probably through Ally, because that's the captive lender for Cadillac. GM Financial, um, which, is, which is through Ally. Yeah. Yep. He found that he could get a better rate on his own. And a couple months later, three or four months later, whatever it was, he refinanced it, didn't sell it. The ownership didn't change. The owner's the same. The lien holder changed, okay? The bank holding the vehicle as collateral changed. Nothing else changed. Then he started having issues with the Escalade, and he took it into the Cadillac dealer, and lo and behold, there is a warranty hold on the vehicle because, well, according to General Motors and Cadillac, he violated the agreement, which he really didn't because he's still the only one that owns it. Um, yep. But they're claiming he violated the agreement to not sell the vehicle within a year's time, and they don't want to honor the warranty on it. All right, Dad, you can sell your car on Car Edge. What's the deal? The deal is you just plug in your VIN number and we'll get you offers from local dealers in minutes. Seconds. CarEdge.com slash sell. Okay. Now, just to make sure, doing our fact checking here live, GM for the Cadillac Escalade V, the Z06 Corvette, the GMC Hummer EV, those were six months. You just had to own it for six months before you could do it. you wanted okay. to do it. Ford, because Ford has the same exact thing. I think that was for the Lightning, for Broncos. That was a year. But it's, it's, it doesn't okay. even matter. Who cares if it's six months or a year? We've talked about this before. It, it, it introduces a lot of really interesting complexities. Also, who knows if it's legal in all 50 states. And this is a perfect example of it, Dad. This thing starts to have issues. It should be covered by the warranty. Goes to the dealership to get the warranty worked on. And it's blocked because you changed the lien holder. What? Yeah, that, and that's not the owner. That's the lien holder. That's the bank that, that's financing it. Now, the dealership has tried to contact people at Cadillac to get the thing resolved. Um, so far, no luck. Now, it seems to me that it wouldn't be all that difficult to find somebody that actually has the authority to hit the on and off toggle switch <laughs> for warranty hold <laughs> for that vehicle. And if the explanation is as simple as he refinanced it, what is the issue? What is the, how, why is that a problem? Why isn't there anybody within the Cadillac division at GM on the warranty side of things that can just say, toggle that switch back to, Warranty is on, not off. It, it makes no sense. I mean, this is just a, a situation where common sense should prevail. Yeah. And it just shows that the issue with common sense is it's just not all that common. We preach all the time. If you need to take the dealer financing because they say that's the only way they'll sell you the car, do it. That's fine. That's fine. And then Make sure there's no prepayment penalty on the loan and then refinance it. Refinance it through a credit union. Refinance it through one of our credit unions, caredge.com slash refinance. It's super easy. The issue is now, Dad, we need to also say refinance it so long as the loan you're signing for doesn't have a prepayment penalty and also doesn't somehow mysteriously void your warranty. Like that's, that is, 
negatively impacting the consumer in a way that I don't think GM intended for. However, now I have to question that because look at the situation. They could rectify it. They could make it right. They haven't yet. I hope I hope a week from now we do another video on this and they have made it right. But so far they haven't. And this is appalling. That it, it's It's mind boggling. Well, it's appalling because here's somebody that spent $150,000 for the privilege of being able to drive this. If that's how they treat their $150,000 purchasing customers, how are they going to treat their customers who buy a Chevy Bolt that catches on? Never mind, I won't go there, but you get what I'm saying. Yes, yes. So it it just, you know, this is is, um, a situation of what I would refer to as either collateral damage or unintended consequences you know so when you come up with some of these ideas concepts and programs well you can't sell it because we want to prevent flippers from doing it here's one of those unintended consequences and so far in a week's time they haven't found anybody within the hierarchy at general motors that can go uh this isn't right yeah (laughs) well doesn't take a genius We'll see what happens a week from now. Leave some comments, share the video. Let's get some attention on this. Uh, Shout out to gmauthority.com for covering it. And if you hear of other stories like this, please make us aware. I am at Shefska on Twitter and Instagram. Raz is Jazz on all the same platforms. So send us your stuff. Obviously, we'll cover those stories when we see them. Pops, thanks for covering this one with me. I knew it'd be interesting to get your take. Oh, my God. I, I love this one. Thank you for bringing it up.